The Sly Fox and the Crow. What happened, Mean Two? I had to give all my chocolates and sweets to Dolly. Why? Because she praised me a lot. <laughs> so you were flattered by Dolly. Flattery? What's that? Well, let me tell you about the crow in the story of the sly fox and the crow. On a bright morning, a crow grabbed a piece of tasty cheese kept on a windowsill. Wow! It's my lucky day. I just love cheese. It flew into the woods and perched on a tree. As it was about to relish the cheese, it heard a sweet voice. Good morning, my friend. You look lovely. As the crow looked around, it saw a fox standing under the same tree. The fox resumed. Your feathers are so silky and beak. Oh, so shiny and sharp. You are the smartest crow I have ever met. The crow was so pleased with the flattery of the fox, it continued to believe the fox. The fox said slyly, "I wish I could hear you sing as well. I could tell my friends of your beauty and melodious voice." And then it turned away, pretending to leave from the place. Now the crow could not contain its joy and was desperate to flaunt his voice before the fox could leave. As the crow opened its mouth to sing, the cheese slipped from its beak and fell towards the ground. At that very moment, the fox grabbed the cheese and ate it. Yum! It's so delicious. Soon the fox ran away, saying, <laughs> "You fool! You were easily deceived by my flattery. I only wanted the cheese, and I got it." The helpless crow realized how foolish it had been to believe the flatteries of the sly fox. So, Mintu, one should always be wary of the flatterers who falsely praise others for their own gains. Yes, Minu, I gave away my favorite chocolates just like that poor crow in the story. Ha 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 ha! The sly fox.